This is a course in basic learning, and there are several kinds of learning, according to learning theorists. Habituation, some people think it's the simplest type of learning, and it is the learning to stop paying attention to something. And if information is presented over and over again, our nervous system extracts it, decides what value it has, and if there's no additional new information in incoming sensory input, we stop paying attention to it. Uh, one of my favorite examples of that, uh, imagine you're out to dinner, you've been sitting at the table for quite some time, you're chatting with the person you're with, and you wonder, you may not wonder this, but I wonder this kind of thing, that is, uh, where are my feet? And are, have they left? Are they really still there? And I can't see them, are they really still there? And one of the ways that you can tell where your feet are if you haven't moved them for a long time is you have to move them. And you wiggle your toes or, your, or you tap a little bit or something. And you, But if you don't move your body for a while, you lose track of it. And we are constantly moving. Habituation is not just theoretically interesting. It's interesting because it has practical implications. But let me back up a little bit and talk to you about where habituation was first discovered. It was discovered by a man named Harris and written about in 1943. And he studied a creature called a sea anemone. It's a little bit like a jellyfish that hangs down in the water. And an interesting thing about the sea anemone is if I drop some water on it, it will contract. And if I drop another drop of water on it a second later, it will contract, but not quite as much. And after about 25 or 30 drops of water, what happens with the sea anemone? It stops responding to that stimuli. That's an example of habituation. Habituation allows us to pay attention to those things that are important and ignore those things that aren't important. I'm, I'm a raccoon. I'm down at the stream. I'm digging in the rocks looking for crayfish underneath the rocks. And I, the stream is making a gurgling kind of noise. But it's staying the same all the time. If I'd habituated to the water and the smell and the gurgling, I would be able to attend to that big snapping twig behind me, and I might be able to avoid being eaten. That's it for today. Tune in tomorrow for another adventure in learning. This is Dr. Brophy.